we are able to look at our tattoo and remind us that this is where we came from, this is who we are, and these are the stories that define us as a people. This was like a rite of passage where you force this kid into some crazy shit. And then when he makes it out, it's like, he's ready for the world. Tattooing is just one of those clever ways of making sure that traditions are never forgotten. There's so many deviations of the same thing because they're relaying the same stories over and over, all the way back to the first stories. When I first got into tattooing, like I wasn't really leaning to tattoo Polynesian artwork. I really didn't know much about it. It wasn't until my family started asking me for Polynesian tattoos, and I wanted to be able to understand the artwork that I was giving to them. I ended up learning more about my culture, and it kind of led me into becoming a Tufunga Tatao, tattooing traditional Samoan style. I was born in Eastern Samoa, but I grew up in Hawaii. Pursuing Polynesian tattooing, that was a comfort zone for me because I was familiar with the motifs and I could grab a hold of it because that was my first language. I never sought out to be a Polynesian tattoo artist. When I first got into tattooing, I was doing gangster stuff from the West Coast. It wasn't until I had my son where I was like, man, you know what? I'm gonna try to be a professional. And that's when I hooked up with my very first tattoo job. Polynesian tattooing is the artwork of the oceanic people, the people of the Pacific. Polynesian tattooing is a body of work of different styles from different places. Hawaii, New Zealand, Samoa, Tonga, New Caledonia, parts of Fiji. That's a common belief that the word tattoo in our English language did come from the word tatau and came from the early visits by Captain Cook and those voyages. Those were some of the first people that recorded their experience with Polynesian people. So when they seen what we were doing and it was called tatau, the word transformed over time to tattoo. Tatau is the art of tattooing that's been practicing Samoan culture for thousands of years. The traditional Polynesian tattoo starts from the mid-back and it goes down to below the knees and it's very heavy. It's very linear with a lot of geometric shapes. All of our markings are tied to the earth. They represent plant life, animal life, oceans. We try to embody certain characteristics of these animals into ourselves. Probably one of the most widely seen shapes is the octopus tentacle. The octopus is a soft bodied, but it's one of the smartest animals in the ocean. It's also one of the strongest animals in the ocean. We see a lot of sea creatures in our tattoo works because that was the environment of our ancestors. They were natural voyagers. They went from each island and settled there, settled here. That's why you see so many ocean-based motifs. We have two tools, the sao sao and the ao. One hand I hold the ao and the other one with the sao sao and we're just striking that into the skin. Our tools were made of woods that we found on the island, turtle shell for the backing and boar's tusks which were filed and sharpened to create a tattoo comb that actually made the mark. Now turtle shell is illegal so we replaced that with plexiglass or fiberglass. The tufunga, or the tattooer, you know, both his hands are occupied. So the role of the stretchers is to position the skin to where the tattooer is trying to implement his designs. The stretchers are called koso, au koso, or au solo. These are the men, or sometimes women, that help us out. Not only do they stretch the skin and hold it so that the tools can puncture and make their mark, but they also help soothe the person that's getting tattooed. Being a koso is the beginning of the learning process, of understanding the work that goes into it. The ceremony that we do at the finishing of a tatau is called Sama. This is where we finish the work and we bless the tattoo. We rub the person that's recently tattooed with fonu'u, with coconut oil and lenga to help the body heal. It's a ceremony for the man who had the courage to go all the way through. When we tattoo people, 
We're not just doing the motion. This is some ancient shit. There's a lot of emotion and energy that goes into what we do. One of the beautiful things about being over here is I get to work with a bunch of guys that are really passionate about what we do and the true meaning of our art form. Just to be able to share the art of Polynesian tattooing and the knowledge that keeps it sacred. Especially this far away from the islands that created our style. What Polynesian tattooing means to me is a reconnection to all my ancestors and everybody behind me. Because I'm not only speaking for me, but I'm speaking for a whole generation of kids that are like me, that are getting Polynesian tattoos to reconnect. The recent revival of Polynesian tattooing has a lot to do with people trying to find their cultural roots, their identity. When I put these designs on people, they're taking a piece of me and my culture with them. Polynesian tattooing have been around for thousands of years, and I don't see it going away anytime soon.